In this video, you can learn how to use versions in Power Factory, and in particular, the key role they can play for users working together using a multi-user database. Put simply, a version in a project holds the project state as it was at a particular point in time. Let's imagine that a user is developing a network model and has many intricate steps to go through in this process. He might complete one stage of work and be about to embark on the next stage. He may choose to save a version at this point so as to have something to fall back to should things not go to plan. By default, the point in time for the version will be the current date and time. The version is created and the work continues. If the user does indeed need to start again for any reason, he can simply deactivate the project and roll back to the version that he made. Although this is a useful feature, the main application of versions is actually in PowerFactory's base and derived projects concept. Large companies with many PowerFactory users often have PowerFactory Team Edition where all the users share a common database. This does make sharing project data a lot easier, with users able to share data and copy projects from each other, but there are further advantages. All these users need to work with the same network model, which can be very large, and for each user to have his or her own copy of the project would take up a lot of space. Furthermore, there will be an ongoing need to update the network model, and the users would then all have to update their own copies, which is a time-consuming duplication of effort. In PowerFactory, the solution to this problem is to use base and derived projects. One individual or a team maintains the base project, which acts as a master project. This project is continually updated and versions are regularly created within it. Here we see the model developer creating version 2 in the base project. Any other user can then create a so-called derived project from a version. Here, user 1 derives a project from the latest version of the base. This derived project is a bit like the user having his own copy, but in fact it retains a link to the base project and only locally stores the changes that the user has made. In that way, it takes up far less space than a true copy. Of course, once users have derived projects from the base, they'll work with them and make modifications. And at some point, a user will need to be able to assimilate subsequent changes to the base project into his own derived project without losing his own work. Find out how this is done in the next video, which introduces the Compare and Merge tool.